What's up, toots? We are back with another Why You Should Read. I know it's been a minute since you guys have heard from me since I dropped a recommendation, but I promise today I have a really, really good one. Today we're diving into a manga I think is still very highly slept on called Gachi Akuta. I hope I pronounced that right. But of course, before we hop into what this manga is all about and why you should be reading it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and check out our other content like our podcast. If you would like to support us, we do have a merch shop with a bunch of awesome t-shirts and other novelties. The links will be in the description boxes down below for all that amazing stuff. And without further ado, I'm going to hop right into today's video. Gachi Akuta by K. Urana is a unique manga that expertly intertwines intense action with a deeply woven mystery set against a richly crafted supernatural backdrop. From the opening pages, Gachi Akuta had me captivated with this unique story, characters, and abilities. I say that, but what exactly is Gachi Akuta about? The story starts off with Rudo, who's living in the slums of a wealthy town with his foster father, Legto, try to coexist with the rest of the town's residents. But Rudo despises the wastefulness of the upper class. Ignoring the warnings from those around him, Rudo regularly rummages through the town's garbage in search of anything useful or valuable to save from the abyss. And I say abyss in quotations. The abyss is a massive hole where anything considered trash is dumped, including people. Rudo's biological father was one such person having been thrown into the abyss after he was accused of murder. One day after running into a mysterious figure on the way home, Rudo returned to find Lecto's dying body on the floor. He is immediately found at the scene by the authorities and is charged with murder. I guess like father, like son. No one believes his claims are innocent and he is thrown into the abyss instead of dying. However, he finds himself in a strange, foul-smelling place surrounded by monsters made of trash. When Rudo is attacked by said monsters, he is saved by a man named Engine who reveals himself to be a janitor, someone who uses special weapons called Jinkies to combat these creatures. In order to get his revenge on the one who killed Legto, Rudo reluctantly becomes a janitor to fight his way back up and out of the abyss. Now, right away, I was hooked on the concept of there being sort of an abyss where trash gets thrown away and practically comes to life. No one usually ever gives a second thought about the trash they throw out, so it was really cool to see K. Urena take this concept of forgotten trash and breathe life literally into it. This leads me to my second point of why this manga is great. One of Gacha Yakuta's standout features is its exceptional world building. The abyss is depicted with an eerie, almost like dystopian charm. This underground world is sprawling, has a labyrinth landscape filled with discarded objects that have pretty much gained sentience and unique abilities. K Arena's art excels, and when I say excels, like I love the art style of this manga. It excels in bringing this world to life with detail and imaginative designs that highlight the creativity behind each object, character, and environment. The visual storytelling, I feel like it's very, very immersive because like I said, Urena is just such a great artist with each panel meticulously crafted to enhance the atmosphere of mystery and danger that permeates the story. Now, as y'all know, I am a huge fan on character development. I love it in all the stuff I read and watch. So if there's usually trash character development, there's a high chance I'm probably gonna drop whatever it is. However, I think Gachi Kuta delivers pretty well when it comes to character development. At the beginning of the manga, Rudo is a complex and relatable protagonist. His transformation from a naive and wrong individual to a determined and resilient fighter is both organic and compelling. His quest for survival and truth is driven by a mix of vengeance and a deep-seated need for redemption, making his journey emotionally resonant. The supporting characters in Gachi Akuta are equally well developed. Each has a unique backstory and set of motivations adding depth to the narrative. Characters like the enigmatic Junker, a mysterious figure with a hidden agenda, and Liko, a skilled fighter with a tragic past, enriches the story with their interactions and personal stakes. The dynamics between these characters are thoughtfully explored, providing a rich element of relationships that enhances the overall plot. Now, what about the plot and pacing for this manga? Don't worry, for my folks who love a good plot, Gachi Akuta's plot is massively crafted, balancing high-octane action sequences with quieter, character-driven moments. The pacing is brisk, but I think it's very controlled to ensure that the story progresses without feeling rushed. 
The fight scenes are absolutely phenomenal and dynamic and meticulously choreographed, offering adrenaline pumping moments that I feel like keeps the readers on the edge of their seats. Now the mystery elements are, I think, skillfully interwoven, which I think it's usually hard to do, especially in anime and manga. I feel like either it's done really well or it falls really flat. Each chapter peels back layers of the overarching enigma surrounding Rudolph's fall and the true nature of the abyss. The narrator keeps readers guessing with twists and revelations that are both surprising and in a way satisfying. Now normally I don't go looking for themes and messages in manga or anime but it's always cool when they do have them and I find myself actually impressed with Gachi Akuta's theme. Underlying the action and mystery are thought-provoking themes of redemption, survival, and the value of what society deems as trash. And again, I put trash in quotations. Gachi Akuda challenges readers to reconsider their perceptions of worth and the consequences of discarding not just objects, but people and memories. The manga delves into the concept of finding value in the overlooked and forgotten, and the idea that everyone and everything has a purpose no matter how insignificant they might seem. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's an amazing theme to present to your readers because I feel like a lot of people can relate to whether it's actual trash, people or memories that are usually thrown away. Now, when it comes to the art and visuals, K. Urena's artwork is a highlight of Gachi Akuta. The detailed illustrations bring the world of the abyss to life with each scene bursting with creativity and meticulous attention to detail. Like I said, the Arthur is a genius when it comes to not only the plot, but also the artwork. The character designs are distinctive and expressive, capturing the personalities and emotions of the cast. The action scenes, once again, are particularly well executed. They're phenomenal with fluid movement and dynamic angles that enhance the intensity of the battles. So in conclusion, I feel like Gachi Okuta is a must read for fans of action packed mystery driven mangas with a supernatural twist. K. Urena has crafted a fascinating world with complex characters and a storyline that promises to keep readers hooked from start to finish. Whether you're drawn in the imaginative setting, the intriguing plot, or the emotional depth of the characters, Gachi Okuta is a series that delivers on all fronts. Its blend of action, mystery, and thoughtful themes makes it a standout addition to the manga genre, one that is sure to leave a lasting impression on its readers, because I know it's left a lasting impression on me. So as always, I appreciate you two for watching this video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope this video has made you want to go read Gachi Akuto, or at least drew your interest somewhat. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and hit that notification bell so you know when we drop new videos. If you are reading Gachi Akuta, let me know what you think so far in the comments. Remember, no spoilers, guys. So that's all I have for you today. Until next time, guys.